In other news, the 4th of July means barbecues, parties, and of course, fireworks. But hearing those loud booms every year is dreadful for some. NBC 26's Jenna Bree introduces us to one local veteran who has a big message to share this Independence Day. 4th of July is a fun day of celebration for many Americans, but for some local veterans like Mike Engel, Independence Day means painful flashbacks. Since I've been out, 4th of July has kind of been me going back to being in the war zones. When Mike Engel hears fireworks, he says his mind goes back to a roadside bombing in Baghdad in 2006. That day is still a complete blur to me. He suffered a traumatic brain injury that still affects him today. I get flashbacks. I disassociate severely, pretty much blackout. I'll probably get a couple of booms in and then I'm gone. According to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, anywhere from 11 to 20 percent of vets who served in Iraq suffer from PTSD. We got Vietnam veterans, Iraq, Afghanistan. Not all of us are affected the same, but there are a bunch of us I know of that we just can't do it. We go somewhere to try to be safe. Engel says he put a sign in his yard that says, please be respectful with fireworks. A combat veteran lives here. My neighbors will come walk across the street, let me know they're going to light them off uh, about an hour ahead of time, and I'll just go somewhere, go visit my parents, go visit my brother, where I know I'm safe, where there's no fireworks going off at that time. Angle's wife and kids will go see fireworks every 4th, but he always stays home. I love Independence Day. I'll celebrate it as much as I can. Angle says he never wants to squash anyone's 4th of July fun, but just a small heads up to a veteran neighbor can make a big difference. In Shano, Jenna Bree, NBC 26.